Construction has started on a $12 billion high-speed railway between LA and Las Vegas. The United States has promoted high-speed rail for decades. In 1965, in response to the opening of Japan's Shinkansen between Tokyo and Osaka, President Must Lyndon B. Johnson signed into law the High-Speed Ground Transportation Act with the goal of advancing U.S. high-speed rail. Four years later, in the Metroliner Rail Service between New York City and Washington, D.C., opened with a max speed of 125 miles per hour. In 1980, the Passenger Railroad Rebuilding Act funded research for numerous high-speed rail corridors, and over the following decades, private companies were founded in California, Nevada, Texas, Ohio, and Florida, with the intention of building high-speed railways. However, due to the long distances between U.S. cities, regulatory hurdles, high costs, and fierce competition with cars and airplanes, nothing materialized. Nevertheless, efforts continued, and in 2008, California approved $9 billion for California high-speed rail between LA and San Francisco. However, over 15 years later, and the project has been haunted by land acquisition issues, cost overruns, funding challenges, and delays. For a while, it seemed that high-speed rail may just not work in the US. Until recently. In 2012, New York City-based Fortress Investment Group began development on a new passenger rail line between Miami and Orlando, Florida, called Brightline. Construction began in 2014, and in January 2018, service began between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach. In May 2018, service expanded to Miami, and in September 2023, service to Orlando commenced. Nowadays, Brightline is the only privately operated inner-city railway in the U.S., and while not quite high-speed rail, it has changed the game. But Fortress is not finished yet. 2,100 miles to the west of Brightline, between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, nearly 50 million annual trips are made, 85% of which are by car. As a result, the corridor has attracted the eyes of Fortress, who are now intent on building a high-speed railway between the cities, called Brightline West. In September 2018, Fortress purchased Desert Express, a company who'd already gained approval to construct a high-speed rail line between the two cities. And in 2020, they secured rights to build along I-15, along with $1 billion in private bonds from the Department of Transportation. Then, in December 2023, the Department of Transportation awarded a $3 billion grant to Brightline West under the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, along with another $2.5 billion in bonds. With all this funding secured, on April 22, 2024, Brightline West officially broke ground, initiating construction on the U.S.'s first high-speed railway. Brightline West will span 218 miles between Las Vegas, Nevada and Rancho Cucamonga, California. It will be built primarily as a single-track railway, with 96% sitting within the I-15 median. The railway will be powered by an all-electric overhead catenary system that will initially run on a variety of energy sources. By 2045, though, it is planned to run on 100% renewable energy. Safety will be prioritized with zero at-grade crossings, extensive safeguards, and the European train control system. In addition, there will be three wildlife crossings along the route, as well as the modernization of over 600 culverts under I-15. Along the route, there will be a total of four stations. The first of these is in southern Las Vegas, on a 110-acre property between I-15 and Las Vegas Boulevard, three miles south of the Las Vegas Strip. The second station is 240 kilometers southwest in Apple Valley, on a 300-acre property south of the Dale Evans Parkway in I-15 Interchange. In the future, this station may be integrated into the High Desert Corridor, a transport passage between Victorville and Palmdale that would unite Brightline West with California high-speed rail. The third station is located 30 kilometers southwest of this in Hesperia, within the I-15 median at the I-15 and Joshua Street interchange. It will function primarily as a local service station 
for citizens commuting between the high desert region and greater Los Angeles. Lastly, the final station is 38 kilometers southwest of this in Rancho Cucamonga on a five acre property at the northwest corner of Millican Avenue in Azusa Court. It will be co-located with Metrolink, a commuter rail system in Southern California, allowing for seamless connectivity into downtown LA and other regional destinations. All four of these stations will also be connected with local bus, taxi, and rideshare networks, helping integrate them into the local communities. On the tracks, Brightline West plans to use Siemens American Pioneer 220 trains with a max speed of 200 miles per hour. These will transport passengers between Las Vegas and Rancho Cucamonga in only 2 hours and 10 minutes, compared to the current 3 hour and 40 minute car drive. Inside, they will have plenty of space, free high speed Wi Fi, charging stations, ADA accessibility, and food and beverage options. In total, the railway is expected to cost $12 billion three of which comes from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, $3.5 billion from federal private activity bonds, and the rest from private financing. By its completion, Brightline West expects the railway to serve more than 11 million one-way passengers annually. In order to build high-speed railways like Brightline West, a whole lot of math and science knowledge is needed. Fortunately, with today's sponsor, Brilliant.org, you can learn these topics right from home. Brilliant is an online community with thousands of fascinating lessons on math, data analysis, programming, AI, and more. Its lessons are filled with hands-on problem-solving activities that are proven to be six times more effective than lecture videos, helping you build foundational understanding and critical thinking skills. Not to mention, all the content is crafted by award-winning teachers and researchers from MIT, Caltech, Google, and more. Right now, I'm enjoying a course on the physics of the everyday. I'm learning about fossil fuels, solar power, bridges, and skyscrapers, and with Brilliant, it is intuitive and highly interactive. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do for personal growth, and with Brilliant, it becomes fun and simple. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash futurology channel or click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you, Brilliant. And now back to the video. Brightline West will provide numerous benefits. First of all, its construction will generate 35,000 jobs, 10,000 of which will be union jobs, along with 1,000 permanent jobs. In addition, it will create over $10 billion in economic impact and $1 billion in tax revenue. Moreover, it will result in an estimated 700 million fewer vehicle miles every year preventing 400,000 tons in annual CO2 emissions, equivalent to 33,000 households. This will help fight climate change, lower pollution, and reduce congestion in Los Angeles and along I-15, which is an important freight route. Lastly, it will provide a safer, more convenient, and more comfortable travel experience, showing Americans the true benefits of high-speed rail. While Brightline West has a list of benefits, there are also some concerns. First of all, like California high-speed rail and many other infrastructure megaprojects, it is feared the project will go over budget and be delayed. In addition, the railway is single-tracked. While sidings will allow trains to pass each other in opposite directions, this will slow down transit times and severely limit the railway's capacity. Fortunately, much of the railway will be upgradable to double-track, but in the meantime, this will be a major inefficiency. Maybe most importantly though, it is feared that passenger demand will fail to meet expectations. Round-trip train tickets will likely cost hundreds of dollars. Meanwhile, time savings between Las Vegas and Rancho Cucamonga will be only an hour and a half compared to car. And in order to get to downtown Los Angeles, passengers will have to switch onto the Metrolink, adding another hour and a half onto their journey, making the total travel time only 30 minutes shorter than by car. 
Because of this, it is feared that the consumer benefits will not outweigh the ticket costs and that the 11 million annual passenger prediction, which is 22% of all current traffic, is vastly overestimated. Despite these concerns, Brightline West is confident in their plans and is moving full steam ahead. Since the groundbreaking ceremony on April 22nd, 2024, progress has been made. Currently, field investigation work, including geotechnical boring and land surveying, is underway along the I-15 median, and soon, large-scale construction will commence. Currently, Brightline targets to finish the railway in only four years, allowing it to open service in time for the 2028 Los Angeles Summer Olympic Games. If the project is successful, it could open the floodgates for high-speed rail across the U.S. Extensions could be built to Phoenix, Salt Lake City, or Denver, and new railways could be constructed in the Texas Triangle, Northeast Corridor, between Charlotte and Atlanta, Portland and Seattle, and more. On the other hand, if demand fails to meet expectations, the project could serve as yet another example of high-speed rail struggle in the U.S. Either way, the project is actually being built. Whether or not it succeeds, we will just have to wait and see. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe to Futurology for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.